In this video, we're going to look at heat maps in Microsoft Clarity. Now, I've looked at heat maps before in another video, but that was basically looking at click heat maps. So where are people actually clicking on your web page? So in this one, we're going to look at a new type of heat map that has been pushed out as functionality. So I'm in Microsoft Clarity and I'm going to go ahead and just click on heat maps to look at one of the heat maps. Um, and we can see here that we've got the typical heat map, which is, again, where your users have clicked um, or if they've tapped, um, if it was a tablet or if it was mobile, we'd see that it would change to taps. So if I go back here, what we can see is we now have another option for scroll. Now, if I hover my mouse over this little information button, we can see that these are the different types of heat maps. And the scroll one was listed as coming soon for quite some time. Um, now we can actually click and we can look at a scroll heat map. Now, what this is going to show us is it's going to give us an overlay that appears over the image of the page that you're looking at. The top part, we've got red covering it, and this indicates the hottest area um, or the hottest section where your visitors have actually visited the page and looked at it and scrolled down. Now, typically, somebody clicks on a page, goes to a page, and they start from the top and scroll down. Sometimes you might have someone landing on a page um, and they've come from somewhere that used like an anchor link in the page, which means they might go somewhere in the middle or towards the bottom of the page. But for the most part, most people are going to be starting at the top. Now, if we then scroll down, not quite sure why, but the, the header image that's on that page is showing absolutely massive, which is not what it looks like on the page itself. Um, so if we scroll down, we can see that the overlay color sort of goes and changes in a gradient and goes from red to orange to yellow and so on. And as we move our mouse, we can see what the percentage of users, that the visitors that actually went to that page, what the percentage is that reached that point on the page. So we can see that 73.6 reached that specific point on the page. What we can also see is down the side, we've got the data for the scrolls by percentage. So we can see 5% of over of, of 2,807 visitors, out of that, that's 99.86% of all of the visitors to that specific page or the views. So at the bottom here, we can see there are 2,812 page views. So 99.86 is 2,807. And we can scroll all the way down and we can see, well, what number of people or percentage of people or both, we can see 251 people, which is 8.93% of the overall pages that actually made it to 100%. Now, again, it's done something a little bit strange at the bottom. So if I keep scrolling, we can see quite a lot of people are making it towards the end. Um, so if we keep going down, so over 50% made it to what I would consider the bottom of that specific blog post. So that's fantastic. That's what I want is people to be reading the posts. Um, and if I scroll down, this is actually the bottom of my site in terms of what you see. Um, but it actually goes all the way down here to the very bottom where there's nothing there. I'm not, sh again, sure why. But that is where we've got cold. So we've got this, um, this grade here at the bottom. Um, and we can also see it says screenshots are sample images that are captured at random and may differ across devices. So that's just saying that's what it's showing us when we're looking at this. So this is, like I said, a different type of heat map. Um, we can also look at it from a mobile perspective or a tablet perspective. And we can see the same things where we've actually got um, an overlay of the page itself and then how many people were actually scrolling. So again, we could scroll down and we can see on a mobile device how many people reached a specific point. Now here, what we can see is um, that the percentage of people reaching that specific point is a lot lower. So I had over 50% of people that made it all the way down to the bottom on the um, desktop um, or a PC. But if I scroll down back to that same spot, if I keep going, that we can see only 10% of people actually reach it to that same place on a mobile device. So things like that can tell you, okay, well, how is my 
blog or website, how is a specific page performing when the visitors are looking at it from a PC or a tablet or a mobile. So definitely an interesting new heat map to look at. Um, so have you been seeing this already? Let me know what you think. Um, are you using Clarity? Uh, I'd love to know. So share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.